Stephanie resigning was not a surprise to me, but it was a surprise that she stepped down from the board. I would say Stephanie resigning was a surprise. Stephanie taking time off would not have been a surprise. But doing it right now, I would say, when it happened was a surprise because, I mean, they literally had just said on Friday that there's going to be no management changes and management's going to be exactly how it is. And she was one of the ones, I mean, and maybe even the key one, saying that to the employees, like there's not going to be any changes. And then a couple of days later, she's gone. And then they announce, you know, that Vince has been voted as head of the board of directors unanimously, you know, just shortly after they had voted unanimously not to let him back. So, um, you know, it, it, it was a, um, I mean, I guess like when you look in hindsight, because Vince had all the voting shares that, he had a lot of uh, he had a lot of power that he could exercise, and he absolutely did. And uh, there we are. But I mean, so Nick Nick Khan is in theory running the place, but you know we're all sitting here going like, how long is that going to last? You know, I mean everything. You know, you get told something on a Monday, and then you know by Friday, so so much has changed. Yeah. Um, so last week, for people to summarize this, last week Vince appointed himself chairman of the board. Employees were informed. No leadership changes, like you said. I believe that was last Friday. J.P. Morgan was hired to facilitate a sale for a potential buyer. You know, a lot of questions as to why J.P. Morgan is involved with this. I know J.P. Morgan does have dealings in Saudi Arabia, but from from what I was told from people that I you know that I speak to at, at Morgan and and, uh, and and Goldman Sachs, I believe Morgan Stanley holds Vince's margins. So it would be a per, it would be a conflict of interest. So J.P. Morgan would have to be uh, the the bank essentially that's facilitating or helping facilitate a sale, because there's not too many other large banks that could handle a sale on this level. I guess that's the situation. I mean, you you would know more about that aspect than me. I just remember when the UFC was sold, there was a it was a similar situation, you know, where somebody was there taking the bids and things like that, and that's what I think that you know and getting the word out, sending the prospectuses out to potential buyers as to what you're buying and the, the business numbers and things like that. So, um, yeah, I, I, I don't remember if J.P. Morgan was involved in it, but I do remember that, that it was a similar, you know, that was similar. Yeah. So on Tuesday, Stephanie announced her resignation. Uh, I, I, when, I, when, I, when I first, in the beginning of the segment, I said, you know, I, I'm not surprised that she's, I, I, I'm not surprised that she stepped down as co-CEO, uh, I when when she had stepped down when she had left the first time for a, a leave of absence, I, I you know the way they handled this was so negative, uh, and, and the burial began and it was straight from W I mean straight from WWE. It wasn't that it was rumors and it was hearsay of people you know saying like well you know I worked for Steph she wasn't great. This came from a high level, where you know they they made sure that. She was almost untouchable. You didn't want to deal with her. And then all of a sudden, she's back two weeks later. Now she's out, not, not done the same way. She exited very, you know, uh, it was a positive exit, I guess, publicly, however yeah. you want to put it. Yeah. Then the speculation began of the sale. Do, do you know well, where I mean, this... the, the, the speculation of the sale actually began, um, you know, well before her resignation. Yes. I mean, we, we, we all, you know, we all knew that, um, you know, I mean, Vince basically used the sale to come back because... If he had come back without the sale talk, the stock price would have gone down, and then you know that would have been their reason for, you know, not being, you know, not wanting him back. Is, it, is the stock price going to tank? But when he went in there and talked about a sale, the stock price goes up, and they can't say, well, it's not in the shareholders' best interest because the stock, the stock price is up. So, you know, they were looking at, and there's still one lawsuit out there already, you know, basically saying, you know, for, against them for bringing Vince back. But, I mean, the only, you know, from, from a shareholder perspective, but the only way that that's going to mean anything financially is if the stock price goes down. And as long as they are in the, the you know, as long as they're about to sell, um, the stock price is not going to go down to below the level it was when Vince came back. Yeah, and especially considering the rumors are that, you know, the, the sale purchase price would be anywhere from 102 to $108 per share. If you're an, if you're an investor, that's positive for you right now because they're you exactly. know that's more than what you what you went in at. So he, here's what I want to ask you. So Tuesday night, I, I, I'm sure you had the same scenarios as much as everybody else that that covers this. My phone started exploding with, "Are they selling to the Saudis?" Absolutely. Uh, yep. It was 
it got so muddied where I, you know, when I tried to confirm this, I reached out to people at WWE. I reached out to people within the finance world that would maybe have a clue. And it became so muddied within, I want to say, an hour where it was almost impossible for me to verify anything. Um, do, do you know how where this all began? Uh, and, and obviously, we all spoke to multiple people and everybody's had the same idea that this was happening. Uh, I just don't know where it began and, or how it began to spread so fast. Um, well, I mean, what happened is, is when you hear something so shocking, you know, I think that what happens is, is that everybody talks about it and everyone in wrestling, and then it, you hear from a bunch of different, you know, yeah, I was hearing from, you know, um, over and over and over all night long from everybody, obviously. Yeah. Uh, but, but nobody confirmed it, although, you know, one, one reporter confirmed it, but it was like, I know that I couldn't confirm it, and I asked around, and it felt early, but it didn't feel like, as far as like the, the Saudis being the ones buying it, that didn't feel wrong, if you know what I mean, yeah. and they still may. I mean, that actually made sense at a lot of levels, which is one of the reasons that we all talked about it, but you know, it did feel like, wait a minute, if they were just put on sale and they just hired J.P. Morgan, it's probably, you know, we're probably really not talking about a sale for months, but could they have been the front runner and could... You know, I mean, time will tell on this story. But, um, yeah, it it was crazy. And then um, the next morning they denied it. And, um, you know, the sale was done. And, I mean, I didn't expect that the sale was done. And we, But we still, you know, I mean, that still may be where it ends up. I, I, you know, I'm still leaning towards that just for uh, what makes the most sense reasoning, right? I I can't see Disney being it. I know that the, the story came out that Nick Khan was at a football game with, you know, Bob Eigner and the president of ESPN. Uh, I know that that came out early in the week or, or I think on t- Wednesday that story came out. But There's, um, Yeah, when, when, uh, Wednesday, Wednesday. Yeah. yeah uh, but, that, actually, that actually came for me. But that's like, you know, I mean, like that's because he knows everybody. He knows everybody. So he's he, a very connected guy everybody. in sports he's media. Talk, right, right. He's going to talk to everybody. That doesn't mean that, they're, that they sat there and talked about a sale. But it, it could have meant that there was discussion, but it was more of an example of, you know, I mean, he was not at Raw. He went to the National Championship game, but that's Nick Khan. He's a big sports guy. Met with the top sports people. Um, you know, it may have come up in some form, you know, as far as, I mean, probably, you know, in, in you know, people, I'm sure people were talking to him. I'm sure everybody was asking him about it, right? You know, that, that knows him. He's like, hey, what's going on here? So, um, but, you know, I mean, as far as like the, you know, there's a bunch of people who could take it. There's um, and and reasons for all of them. I think Comcast. I I always feel Comcast is the best fit um, for because they they house Peacock, they house USA. Um, but you know, I mean, Endeavor certainly would want it. Um, it would be a harder thing. I mean, the cons. I I don't really. Um, and, and we're talking Tony and Ch- and Chad. I mean, it's like. You'd never say no, but I just feel that would be a hard one for Vince to sell to. So let's go into this a little bit more here. So we were speculating on, you know, the, the report came out that uh, that the Saudis in principle had agreed on this. Uh, I think a lot of people, including myself, lean towards WWE going private for numerous reasons. One being, you know, Vince coming back to sell the company is the big question here. Normally, a publicly traded company that's making the money that they're making, they're a well-oiled machine. These guys are are making tons of money. They're making tons of money on the TV rights deal. They have a great international deal with Saudi Arabia that's paying them. It's a billion-dollar deal over 10 years. So you have to ask, why would they sell it? And for me, and I want to find out what you lean to, I'm thinking, A, does does... Vince feel that the TV rights negotiations are not going to go as well as they did previously. And that's why maybe he wants to get ahead of this and sell it. Or two, does he really want to remain in full power? And the, the only option he really has for this happening is that he comes in with the idea that they're going to sell. They attempt to sell and maybe they don't, maybe they do, but if they do, it's someone that put, keeps them there. I think both are really viable stories. Um, you know, there is, you know, because of the whole, you know, the whole media landscape situation being so uncertain, you know, the, the expectation of a giant rise in, in the uh, rights fees that was there very recently is, is less certain, but it still could happen. But, I mean, as far as the selling, I think the feeling is that, um, 
you know, maybe it's, 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 it's something to sell that they could get billions and billions. You know, I mean, like, look, I mean, I remember in 2016 when UFC sold for $4 billion. I mean, I heard from people in WWE, we, you know, if we could sell for that much, we're going to sell. That's $4 billion. Now, of course, the stock price changed greatly since that point. But, um, you know, and Vince doesn't need the money. He's got all the money in the world. So it could be something where if, um, you know, if somebody sells and promises to keep him in power... Um, then that's, you know, that's, that's the thing. No one's going to, you know, like, but that, that would be going, you know, that would have to be going private. So that would rule out a Comcast or a Disney, you know, but, yeah. but, but Comcast, as we mentioned before, Comcast makes the most sense if you're going to sell. I don't know if they would offer the most money, but they might, but they have the most, they have the most to gain from owning it because they're the ones who are going to be paying the bulk of those rights fees. Um, if they want to keep, basically, if they want to keep USA Network, from collapsing because USA Network collapses without without WWE. Yeah, uh, a very different story from a, even even five six years ago for the, for USA Network. You know, five Complete. six years ago they had suits and they had all these. You know, uh, you know their their entire thing was their drama lineup, which was fantastic. And now it's a SVU marathon. You know, it's a Law and Order marathon channel, which a lot of cable is now. So with with, I mean Comcast, what, I think one hundred and sixty three billion dollars they have to to be able to spend on this. Uh, the the funny story here, and, and this is the least likely, but I, I got such a kick out of this that Barron's was reporting that the cons may be involved in a purchase of WWE and, uh, you know, media, you know, mainstream media kind of thought this was hysterical that a competitor would buy them. Uh, the likelihood of that happening, Dave, very slim, right? You know, I mean, it's like it, it makes sense in, a, in, in, in as far as from the cons standpoint, but, um, yeah, I, I would say, you know, I don't want to say nothing, you know what I mean? But um, I think it would be difficult, number one. I mean, it's funny. It's funny to say, like, you know, because of all the money that the cons have going, like, they don't have enough money for this because this purchase price is so high. But, you know, them, you know, I mean, it, it, it's like if they partner with other people. And, again, with the UFC, you know, you know um, Endeavor partnered with a bunch of, you know, firms, you know, and – it could be something where a bunch of people, you know, and probably will unless it's Comcast or, or Disney. It, it may be, you know, a bunch of people working together. And if they could go in there and Tony, you know, you know they put up some money and they get other people who they know and they certainly know enough, enough people in business and, and pitch it and go, look, this thing can make us hundreds of millions of dollars a year in profit if we buy it. And um, so with that one, um, you know, I could see where Tony, loved, being someone who loves wrestling, I could see him absolutely wanting it um, and having the connections to possibly raise that money. I mean, it's not, it's not like an a unbelievable scenario to me. I mean, is it, do I expect it to happen? Probably not. Yeah. Uh, do, do, you know, I got this question a lot from people, but, and, I wanted to, and I saved it for the show, but if the Saudis were to purchase this, would this negatively in affect TV, the TV deal? Would they... They would most likely have to have the TV deal in place before this happens. How do you assure? Well, I mean, from what I gather, they want the sale done before they negotiate the TV rights because um, the t with people knowing that there's a sale, you know, you're, you know, people may not want to, you know, they, they're, they're, the uncertainty over who owns it would impact the TV rights. Like, um, you know, just does if Fox thinks that, just as an example, Fox thinks that, that Comcast is getting it. Um, they don't want to bid for something that Comcast is going to own and then take away from them. You know, so it, it, it um, well, I mean, will the Saudi thing affect the deal? Um, I mean, it, it could, I mean, it could, um, which would make it like a, you know, not the best fit. But it's not necessarily that it will. Um, I mean, Live Golf, you know, has not gotten a TV deal. But a lot of people do business with the Saudis that have TV deals, you know, and, and they, they're in sports. And, you know, the people who, the, you know, the, like, like the Newcastle team, Newcastle United, um, it's not like anyone's running away from doing business with them. You know, I mean, in the sports that they're in, the people are still doing business, the fans are still coming. So, I mean, that scenario of, like, no one's going to do business with them at that point um, – it hasn't happened, but this country is different from that country, and um, it it would it would make it uncertain. That's why I think where everybody was panicking over it, it's like it, of all the choices, it's the most controversial choice 
but it might be Vince's best choice. And then there's the question of, you know, um, will Vince do the wrong thing for a long-term company um, to make himself, you know, you know, lock himself in power until he dies? And uh, he might. Yeah. yeah. 